any good players should want to use that. Just want to use that as uh, motivation. Um, you obviously want to go as high as possible, and so uh, you obviously know who goes before you, and you remember that each time you play everybody. But um, obviously, just honored to be here. What do you know about Philadelphia? Not much. I'm from California, so I've only been there once, and it was for like two hours for a photo shoot in a in a, in a park. Um, so yeah, not much. I know uh, Philly cheesesteaks. That's pretty much it. Uh, you'll get an education, I'm sure. People give <laughs> lots of advice on that. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyone with questions, just raise your hand in the chat. We'll call on you. Uh, go ahead, Zach. Hey, Jared. Congrats, man. Uh, just a question for you. Coming from Duke, a lot of what you guys did offensively was obviously built around Kyle Filipowski. How do you think that's going to help you translate to now playing in an offense that accompanies Joel Embiid? Yeah, I think uh, it's a great tra transition for me. Um, obviously, playing through Flip, I, I learned to create space for him and um, just be able to to let him do his work and and, and find gaps and find ways to, to get open. Um, so I think it's a great transition for me. Go ahead, Gina. What's up, Jared? This is Gina Mizell from the also from the Philadelphia Inquirer. How's it going? Going great. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Can you just sort of take us inside what this draft process was like for you in terms of your communication with the Sixers and sort of um, just how you guys got to know each other before uh, tonight's selection? Yeah, um, it's funny. I, I didn't. Uh, we didn't talk much. Um, uh, you know, my agent mostly handled all that stuff. Um, but yeah, just excited to get there and learn more about it. Eric, I've got Keith's question over here. Hey, how you doing, Jared? Congratulations to you, man. Sorry, I, I couldn't uh get on earlier. But <laughs> it's all um, good. Yeah. You just just tell us what 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 people what what do you want people in Philly, you know, right now to know about you. I mean, we know, you know, you with the fingernails um, painted. We know you, you know, hitting shots and everything like that. But as a person overall, what what can we expect from you? Yeah, um, you know, I do the the social media, the nail painting. I do all that stuff. But basketball is obviously my main focus. And this has been my dream since I was literally like five, four years old. Um, so I'm going to do whatever I can just to win and, and bring a positive attitude and just just have fun, man. I'm just I'm just joyful with life, and I try to bring that everywhere I go. Talk about um, you know you and Tyrese Maxey, two young guards. Um, you know you're a two guard. Both of you guys are are on the smaller side in regards to being a a two guard or and whatnot. But at the same time, you guys both bring it. You know, I mean, you both guys can produce. And can you just talk about you know that's a guy that you can grow with, develop with. For sure, man. I'm really excited just to get to know him and um, obviously ask questions just to see what he did to succeed um, so quickly. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just excited to get out there and, and, and get to know him. Go ahead, Gina. Yeah, to kind of go back to just your, a lot of people talk about your infectious personality. I'm just curious where that comes from as far as family upbringing, just wh where do you feel like that um, sort of just, yeah, the, the nature of your personality comes from? Yeah, I mean, I credit I credit my parents, my brother. Um, they've instilled me from a young age that just having a positive mindset um, can bring you a lot of places. And I try to do that everywhere I go. Um, and it's got me to this far in my life, so I, I won't stop now. And um, even if there's a bunch of hate coming my way, I try to be as positive as possible and just um, continue to work and, and, and trust my work. And then on the court, um, when you sort of look at the time between the end of your your college season up until now, like what are the biggest things that you've worked on on your game that you've tried to show NBA teams? And then maybe what is kind of the next step uh, you, you think for you as you you know start your, your rookie season? Yeah. Um, I mean, during this process, I think just showing that I'm a, I can be on the ball. Um, make reads off pick and rolls and obviously continuing to uh, level up my off uh, like footwork shooting and movement shooting. Um, but yeah, I know, I know it's going to be challenging uh, with defending. I think that's the biggest challenge I get um, thrown at me a lot. And I'm just excited to, to get to learn more and um, yeah, new challenge is something I'm always accepting. Well, let's go to Austin and then Kai. 
Hey, Jared. Uh, welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, how how would you say playing for Coach Shire and playing at Duke has sort of helped prepare you for this next level for this moment? I mean, I think it's everything. I mean, with Duke being such a, a big platform in college, um, obviously that comes with a lot of hate and a lot of um, scrutiny uh, wherever you go. But I think that's prepared me for, for, for where I'm at, especially with Philly. Um, so I think I'm ready for it. And yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Kai. Hey, what's up, Jared? Um, I apologize it's already been asked. We've got a lot of technical difficulties over here, but I'm curious, like, what your uh, your draft process was, like, like leading up to this. Um, I mean, like, did you have any conversations with the Sixers or or, or anything like that? What what kind of led up to this selection for you? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's been a busy process. Um, I, I personally haven't uh, got to talk to the Sixers, uh, but you know, I'm guessing my agent has. Um, and up to this point, so I'm just excited to get out there and uh, get to know more. Well, let's go to David and then back to Amy. Hey, Jared, uh, obviously the thing that jumps out at you is your, your release and, and how quick it is and how quick you sit up and, and get that shot off. Um, where did that come from? Um, has it all, that always been your game? And how, how do you think that's going to help you at, at this level against some of these bigger guys in the NBA? Yeah, I think uh, I've been working on it for my whole life now. I think shooting's always been something um, I've loved to do and been good at. Um, so I'm just saying, I think having a quick release is going to be extremely helpful, being a smaller guard in the league, um, just being able to get it off quick. And, uh, yeah, it'll help me a lot. I mean, are, are you a guy who's always been kind of all throughout your life uh, smaller than, than your peer group? You know, were you, were you bigger, young, and then stopped growing? What Have you always kind of had to fend, uh, kind of fend off the bigger guys? Yeah, I think starting with high school, it's always been something I've been smaller, been kind of just the average size. Um, it's it's funny um, just be, be, being 6'3 and, and being labeled as small. It's always <laughs> when I hear that. Um, but, yeah, in the league, it's 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 insane. Um, so I'm just excited to uh, continue to, to work on that and, and find other ways to impact winning without being 6'9". <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go to Amy and then Noah. Jared, um, you mentioned your brother a little bit, and then after you, you were drafted. Can you just talk about the motivation there with him and having him with you? Yeah, I mean, he's the reason why I play. Um, he got blood clots in high school, so he had to stop playing. And so he's the, he's literally the reason why I play. He, he stopped playing and, and came to Duke to be a grad assistant with me. And um, to have him around was everything for me. And so that's my main motivation is just to do it for our dream. Um, it was our dream to get drafted, and so we both did it. All right, we'll wrap up with Noah. Hey, Jared, congrats. Uh, your rebounding is a strength for you as as a guard. I guess, have you always had a knack for that? And uh, do you take pride in, in that area of your game? Yeah, I definitely take pride in rebounding. It's something I focused on, especially towards the end of the year. Um, just something that I feel like another way to impact winning. A lot of our, our wins and losses were won and lost on the rebounding battle. Um, so wherever I go, I try to do something else that's going to impact winning other, other than scoring because your shot's not going to be on every night. Um, so if I can grab as many boards as possible, I think that that helps myself. 